Five friends enter a ping pong competition. L, Rick, Chris, Dawson, and Ethan. Beforehand, the audience is asked to rank the competitor from best player to worst player based solely on their first names. Find the sequential pairwise winner using alphabetical order as the agenda. So when using sequential pairwise, we're going to, first of all, put alphabetical order as they asked us to. And we're going to pick candidates against based on the order. So the first competition is going to be A versus B. So A is going to go against B, and whoever wins that competition will move on to the next step. Whoever wins that one is now going to go against C. Whoever wins that competition will then go against D. Whoever wins that competition will go against E. And then whoever wins that competition wins the whole thing. So the first thing we're going to do is do A versus B. So in each column, we're going to see which one is more preferred, A or B. So in the first column, B is over A, so B gets the 42. In the next one, B again is over A, so B gets 31. In the third column, again, B is over A, so B gets 14. In the fourth one, A is over B, so A gets 22. And in the last column, A is over B, so A gets 17. I think it's clear to see that B won. Let's get the votes down here anyway. So 22 plus 17 is 39, and 42 plus 31 and 14 is 87. Okay, so clearly B was the winner of that, so A is out of this. So now we're going to do B versus C. So in each column we're going to see which one is more preferred, and then as we're doing that I'm going to write those numbers down. So in the first column, B is over C, so B is 42. B is over C, so B is 31. B again is over C, so B is 14. C over B, so C is 22. And then B over C, so B is 17. Okay, so adding all these up, again, I think it's clear to see that B won. We have 104. 22. So B is the winner of that competition, so B goes on to the next one, which is against D. So now we're going to do B versus D. So in the first column, B is preferred over D, so B is 42. B over D, 31. B over D, 14. B over D, 22 and B over D, 17. So B gets all of those votes, so clearly B is the winner. 42 and 31 and 14 and 22 and 17 is everybody, 126 to 0. Okay, so one final competition, whoever wins this one is our winner, so B versus E. So in the first column, E is over B, so E is 42. B over E, so B is 31. B over E, 14. E over B, so E is 22. B over E, so B is 17. This one looks pretty close. 31 and 14 and 17 gets me 62. 42 and 22 give me 64, so E wins, and so E is the overall winner. Even though B beat everybody else, it's only the last competition that matters. So all in all, E, in other words, Ethan, is the sequential pairwise winner.